Hello and welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner covering Sergey Lang's Basic Mathematics and we are in section 12.3. Chapter 12 has to do with analytical geometry and section 3 has to do with the ellipse. And we are going to cheat through the ellipse just like we cheated through the parabola. We are going to note that we have the circle. Okay, and so solutions x comma y have to satisfy that equation. And he says, suppose that we stretch these guys out. So we have ax squared. Um, so uh, let a be positive numbers, a and b. To each point x, y, we associate the point ax comma by. So we're basically going to take x comma y, and we're going to map that through some transformation that takes us to ax comma by. Okay, And you can see that this is a kind of stretching operation, right? It's just kind of stretching the shape out. Well, what would happen to the circle if it were stretched in such a way? And he introduces the new variable u, which he's going to call ax, and v, which is going to be bx. Okay, And then he says, note that u, v still satisfy that equation because x is equal to u over a and y, sorry, by, y is equal to um, v over b. Okay, so we can plug these two in. So we get u over a squared plus v over b squared is equal to 1. Okay, and so in the u and v plane, in order to satisfy this equation, you have to stretch u and v from where the circle originally was. Okay, so we have this new equation u squared over a squared plus v squared over b squared is equal to 1. And we're going to call this shape an ellipse. An ellipse is basically a square that has been stretched in one or the other directions. The set of points u, v satisfying this equation is, in fact, an ellipse. Here's an example. So let's take the example of u squared over 3 squared plus v squared over 2 squared is equal to 1. Okay, what would that look like? So let me just draw that out quickly on a piece of paper here. So normally we would have, I'll use that in green. Normally we would have just the unit circle, except in this case, in the x direction, it's going to stretch out three. So we're going to one, two, three. It's going to go all the way out here. One, two, three, all the way out here. And in the y direction, it's going to go up. So it's going to go down like that. So we're going to get this shape that's kind of like an egg shape um, that is a stretched circle. It's kind of stretched out like a rubber band to fill those points. Okay. Uh, we can also translate the ellipse the same way we did everything else. Okay, so the general equation for an ellipse is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. That's a general equation for an ellipse for x and y. If we were to try to translate the square, right, you can imagine how that works. So we take um, x prime is equal to x minus a y prime is equal to y minus b, and we get the new equation, uh, x prime over uh, a squared plus y prime over b squared is equal to, supposed to equal 1, and so we get x minus a squared over a squared. I'm sorry, this is the different a. Um, we have to use a different a. Uh, let's call this the... Uh, Let's call this c and d, okay? So this is x minus c squared over a squared plus y minus d squared over b squared is equal to 1. And that will give you an ellipse centered at c comma d, okay? So as an example, let's draw this one. So the equation is x minus 1 squared over 25 plus y minus 4 squared over 16 has to equal 1. And so we're going to get the center of this is going to be at 1 comma 4. That's the center. And then it's going to stretch out by 5 in this direction. And 5 in this direction. That's the center. And it's going to stretch out 4 up and 4 down. And it's going to go around like this. Okay. That is how that's going to work. Okay. The homework for this is not terribly difficult. There's only a few problems. Um, you don't really have to work that hard to get the problem solved. And uh, note that the pattern for the ellipse is that you're going to be adding something squared 
This is supposed to be a square here. Something squared plus something squared, x squared plus y squared, and you can have different um, um, coefficients for those. All right, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Not much more to say about ellipses. Take care and bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video on Sergey Lang's Basic Mathematics. You can find the series on the left, and on the right, you can click to support my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.